Switching back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Pure Pazak. The console's ours. Now, all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and- Hey! <laughs> Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be going over adding the Sith Lords Restored Content mod to the recently released mobile version of Knights of the Old Republic 2. This should work for both Android and the iOS versions of the mobile port. Now I can't confirm or test out the iOS version because I personally dislike Apple and its restrictive platform, but according to the mod instructions it looks like this should work for it. I will show you how to do this using only your phone, but you can also use your PC to download and unzip the mod. It's seriously so easy to do on the phone that you're not even going to need to pull your PC into this. So this might be news to some of you, but they ported the coder games to be played on mobile devices, which is super cool for car rides or downtime away from your console. Coder 2 has more than 10,000 downloads on the Play Store. The first one has over 500,000 downloads, so I am sure it will catch up to those crazy ass numbers. So I'm not going to review the port in this video, I am only going to show you how to add the restored content to it, so you can play it with the fixes and the little extra content. So let's finally get into it. All we're really going to need is the App Store and the My Files app, or whatever lets you browse your phone's files. They have apps on the store that lets you browse your phone's files, if for some reason you don't have that on your phone. When the mod first came out for the mobile version, it was a RAR file, the .rar one but they recently changed it so it's a .zip file, so that way you can just extract it right there on your phone. You used to need 7-zip or a RAR program so you could extract the file, but them changing it to a .zip, you can just extract the files right there in the My Files app. I'll show you what this looks like. So, as always with the modding video, little disclaimer, you can mess up or corrupt your game if you download mods incorrectly. Usually it's not too big of a deal, you can just uninstall it and reinstall it and that'll fix all the files and generate new ones but it is something to be wary of when you're messing with files that weren't meant to be messed with. So, little disclaimer in the corner, but it won't mess up anything if you do it correctly. So of course, your first step is going to be purchasing the game via the App Store. I thought $15 was a bit much for this old game, but I understand that they had to port the game which required work, so I am happy to support them supporting the game. Make the purchase and get it installed to your device. The next step is to grab the restored content mod from DeadlyStream.com. I have it linked in the description if you don't want to hunt it down. Big shout out to Deadly Stream and ZBYL2 for making this possible. Maybe it's Zebel too. This modder has worked on the PC version of the restored content, so I completely trust this to work. I was surprised at how fast this was available for everyone. Anyway, head over there and download the mod. The instructions are located here in the mod's description, but you also get a .txt file that'll have the instructions for you. But the instructions are really simple. So once you have that downloaded, Head over to the My Files so we can locate what we just downloaded. It's most likely going to be in your Downloads folder, so hop in there and then scroll down until you see tslrcmmobile.zip. And then go ahead and click on that, and you can see here that we have the instructions and the DLC. If you need the instructions, go ahead and click on it, but you can just click on DLC, and either way we're just going to extract these right here. We used to need a program for this, but since they made it a .zip file, our phone can extract the files for us. So click on this and extract the files. So here's that installation file if you need to take a look at that. It's got some weird letters and shit in there, but it's just the same as the mod's description. So you don't really need it. So hop in here in this DLC folder, and we'll see that we have six different versions of the mod. They're all in different languages. So you can go ahead and just get rid of them. We're not going to need them. Just the language that you want. We're using English, so let's just get rid of French, German, Italian, Russian, and Spanish. We don't need them. Get them out of here. I made the mistake of grabbing the mods underscore English folder and copying that and then pasting it where it needed to be, but that's not what you want to do. You want to back out and then go to the DLC folder and copy that DLC folder, not the mods underscore English. Don't do that. So make sure you get rid of all those other languages you don't need and then go back to the DLC folder and copy that one. If you somehow got lost out of it like I did, just go ahead and search, type in DLC and find that folder. Once you find that DLC folder, you can just long press on it, and then you'll have that copy button there at the bottom. Go ahead and click on it, and then you can see it gives you the option to copy here. So now we go back and we find the games folder. So once we have that copied to the clipboard, we can go back to the beginning of the My Files, and then we're going to want to click on Internal Storage, then click in here in Android, then click Data, and we're going to look for com.aspire.swcoder2. That's what you're looking for. If you can't find that file and you haven't launched the game yet, that's probably why you can't find it. So go back, launch the game, 
get to the main menu and then go ahead and quit out and make sure you quit the program in the app selector. When I was doing this, I couldn't find it, so I just went back, launched the game, and then it generated the files. And then we should see the com.aspire.swcoder2 folder. We should see it there after we've launched the game. So go ahead and click in that, and then click in files, and then right there where you see saves and the swcoder2.ini, that's where we're going to want to copy this file. So just click copy here, and then it should copy all those files in a DLC folder. That's what we want to do. That's where we're going to want to place it, and you're going to want to make sure you copy that DLC folder, and not the mods underscore English one. And if it's not in internal storage, it might be under home, and then Android, then data, then the com.aspire.swcoder2. So if you run in the iOS version, it's pretty much the same steps. Download it and extract it, and then copy that DLC folder after you delete the languages you don't want. We're going to place it in the Coder2 files, but the way we find that is we go to iTunes, Apps, and then Documents, and then look for that Star Wars Coder2 folder, and then you're going to place it in the same spot that the Saves folder goes. So in Android, we were able to see the saves in the Star Wars.ini file. I assume it's going to be the same as that, and then we're just going to paste that file right there with the saves. So there's a little friendly note here in the description. Be sure to close the game completely using the app switcher before launching the mod to ensure that it runs as normal. And that's pretty much it for the installation, my friends. It's super simple to do once you know where to put the files. So you can tell it is working correctly when you see the Sith Lords Restored Content Mod 1.8.6 right up here in the top. This is what it looked like without the mod, and then this is what it looked like after we had the mod installed. You can see here it says Sith Lords Restored Content Mod 1.8.6, even though it's all squished and hard to read. If you can see that right there, then you know that you got it installed correctly. That's the reason that I knew that I installed it incorrectly when I just copied that mods underscore English file is because when I launched the game it didn't have that little Sith Lords Restored content mod up there on the top. I was pleasantly surprised at how simple it was to add the mod to the game. You will have to start a new game if you have already been playing without the restored content. This might be a little frustrating but this is the way it is with PC2 since there's so many new files and stuff like that. So fire up a new playthrough and happy playing friends! I haven't made it all the way through the game on my Android yet, but I have been having a really fun time sneaking in some gameplay on car rides or during my breaks at work. I'm super excited to see what other mods will come to the mobile now that we know that it can be done. Huge shout out to Boromir the Freeman for sharing this link with me in one of my comments. Thank you very much my friend. But that should do it for this video, I really hope this was of some help to those of you that are trying to figure this out. Throw a like up on this if you found it helpful. I'm still cranking out Coder 2 guides, so be sure to get subscribed so you can be notified when those come out. As always, I appreciate you checking out the video. Happy mobile jettifying to all of you. Thanks again, my friends, and we will see you in the next one.